Hello, my name is Jennifer Sproul and I am the Chief Executive of the ROIC and welcome to this webinar to discuss the ROIC CPD programme and it should probably take around 15 minutes. The topics I'll be covering today include what is CPD and why it is of value to you, why ROIC has introduced CPD and how you can personally benefit, talk through how the ROIC programme works, how to get started with your CPD and some tips of personal development planning and reflective thinking, and conclude with the CPD resources we have, cre we have created to help you through your CPD. So what is CPD? Continuous professional development or CPD is an approach that can help you as part of your lifelong learning. It's a process to ensure that you are helped to track the development of your skills, knowledge and experiences, in order to ensure that you remain up to date with your profession and manage your own development, both professionally and personally. It recognises that learning and development happens in a multitude of ways, from formal training, attending events and conferences, to mentoring, reading articles, and imparting knowledge to others. And it acknowledges that informal learning we all do in our working lives. CPD is firmly focused on results and helps you get to where you want to be. Some of the benefits are, strengthens your professional credibility, helps identify your professional development needs, embeds reflective thinking into your everyday working life. It's a boost in confidence, an increase in self-awareness. It showcases your achievements and knowledge and helps planning for your future career goals. IOI CPD launched in March 2017 and it is exclusively for IOIC members. IOIC did have a previous CPD scheme, but this is a new version with a more user-friendly online platform and clearer structures and resources to help you complete the program. At IOIC, we are dedicated to helping our members be the best they can be today and in the future. And CPD provides a core framework to help professionals grow and acknowledge their achievements. So why CPD? It was important that IOIC developed a CPD offering, as CPD is seen as an essential element of any profession that wishes to be taken seriously and to be recognised for its distinct contribution. The practice of internal communication is continuously evolving, and CPD gives an opportunity to help ensure our profession continues to improve the quality and skills, and that our learning is kept up to date and we innovate in our own practice. It's a useful tool which gives individuals structure to help take a step back and think about your career goals, plan and track development, and also reflect on your learnings to help you progress through your career. And for those wanting to leverage your IOIC membership and gain recognition, it is also a pathway to achieve IOIC CPD accredited practitioner status with a formal certificate listing on our website. So how does the IOIC program work? The IOIC CPD program is a free, non-compulsory member benefit and open to all members of the IOIC. If you are interested in CPD and not a member, please join today and then register for CPD. Your CPD program is managed through a dedicated online portal where you can create your professional development plan, record all your activities, reflect on your learning, and demonstrate your professional competence. Your CPD cycle starts when you register. You can do so by completing the registration form on the IOIC website, which will be followed with an email including your CPD login details. CPD residents must log 32 hours during a 12 month cycle. You must reflect on your CPD activities to claim the hours. And residents at member level and above can work towards IOIC CPD accredited practitioner status. Initially, you will be required to complete 64 hours of CPD and submit your portfolio for review. And I'll explain more about this shortly. And to maintain your IOIC accredited status, you will then need to complete the annual 32 at CPD hours. Please read through the CPD handbook, which complains, contains all the relevant detailed information you need to start your CPD journey. And you can find this in the CPD resources section of the IOIC website. The CPD program recognizes that learning comes in a multitude of ways and in a wide variety of form formats. CPD acknowledges learning from both formal and informal environments to include knowledge building, but also knowledge sharing with others. 
the CPD table, which can be found on the IOIC website, lists some of the activities which counter CPD, from the more formal structures to include training and qualifications, to those informal activities which may be mentoring, participating in awards, or reading. This list you can see on the screen is not definitive, but given as a guide. In essence, as long as it's relevant to the practice of internal communication, and you can demonstrate a level of learning and reflection, you can probably count it as CPD. CPD activity is measured through CPD hours, as I've previously mentioned, and those are allocated to each activity, both formal and informal. The CPD hour is not necessarily driven from the actual time to complete, but by the level of learning and activities likely to give you. All IOIC activities that are recognized as part of CPD have already been allocated with CPD hours. You will also not just now start to see the IOIC CPD badges you can see on the screen here on our website and listed on events and training materials. So do look out for them to see how many CPD hours they will be worth. Also, to make this process easier, these activities have already been uploaded with their pre-allocated hours into the online system. IOIC also formally recognizes third party providers with their activities also added to the system, but do look out again for the CPD hours badges on their materials. I would encourage you all to download the CPD handbook I previously mentioned and look at the table of activities on the RSC website before you start your CPD. We would like to encourage all members to work towards IOIC CPD accredited status, as this is a chance to set yourself apart and demonstrate your professional competence and also ensure you continuously invest in your own development. All residents who log a minimum of 32 hours will receive a certificate of CPD. But to achieve accredited practitioner status, registrants must be at a minimum level of member status with the MIIC designation and initially complete two years of CPD or the equivalent of 64 CPD hours. Or hold an IOIC diploma and have completed one year, that's 32 hours of CPD. Upon completion of the CPD hours, your portfolio will be reviewed by two independent IOIC assessors. And following successful review, you'll be issued with an IOIC accredited practitioner certificate and you'll all be also be listed on the IOIC website. Accredited practitioner status demonstrates your ability and commitment to the profession of internal communication. And upon att attainment of practitioner status, users can adjust their signatures to the example you can see here on the screen. The IYC CBD program is managed through a dedicated online portal. Within the online portal, you can create your personal development plans, add your activities, reflect on your learnings, and track your progress. Also, within the online system, you can view and add IYC shared activities with their pre-allocated hours. Please note, this does not mean you're registered for the event or training course, and this must be done separately. You can also link your PDB plans to the IYC profession map and competency framework. And you can add resources or documents, whether that be a certificate or just an article, to ensure you keep a passport of all your professional development. To register for CPD, you must be a member of IYC and simply complete the form on the IYC website, as seen here under step one, and found in the CPD section of, of the IYC website. And you will then receive an email with a link to the CPD system, as you can see here in step two, with your unique login details where you can start your CPD cycle. The first step in your CPD cycle is creating your personal development plan or PDP. A PDP is a tool which allows you to document an open and honest consideration of your current knowledge, skills, strengths, weaknesses, enables you to think about the areas you need to develop. It gives you the opportunity to reflect upon your current performance, achievements and learning as what learnings as well as plan for the future to ensure your ongoing progression. When you start creating yours it's important to remember it's all about you. Where are you now? Where you want to be and what you need to do to get there. This is by no means a prescriptive model and it's important to find what works for you when thinking about your personal development. These are just some of our tips to help get you started. Start by doing a SWOT analysis of your current strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats as you can see with an example here on the screen. Or and then ask a trusted colleague, friend, or your mentor to review and give you some feedback. 
use the IOIC profession map and competency framework as a guide to establish the areas you specifically want to develop in as your overarching personal development objectives. Draft your PDP objectives and make sure they're smart ones. And decide what actions you are going to take in order to achieve those objectives, i.e. going to a course, securing a mentor, reading a book or working on a project. Here is the IOIC profession map and this can be found on the website and viewed in the CPD system. So once you've taken the time to identify your development needs, you can add your PDP into the CPD system as shown here. Simply give it a name, description, and a start and end date, and you can add as many different PDD plans as you would like. It's really what works best for you. So once you've created the name and date range of your PDP plan, your next step is to create and add your PDP objectives, as if you like the pathway to achieve your overall ambitions. And you can also link your plan to the IYC profession map as you've previously seen. Again, you can add as many objectives within there with their own specific target completion dates as you like. And you can link these objectives to your specific CPD activities. So now you have your PDP and objectives, you're ready to start adding your CPD activities. These are the learning and de development activities you'll be undertaking to meet your specific PDP objectives and collect your CPD hours to meet the required number of 32. Simply complete this form with details to include title of your activity, the start and end date when you're planning to undertake the activity or the date of a course or event, the activity type, whether it's training, mentoring or reading. Select the number of CPD hours. Again, please refer to the hours table to ensure you allocate the right number of hours for your activity. Any details about the activity you would like to add? You can also upload any supporting resources, a presentation or an article should you wish to. And you can also link these to one of your PDP objectives. You can add activities planned for the future or ones you are currently undertaking. Please note, you can add activities you also undertaken in the previous quarter to the start of your CPD cycle. Reflection is a key step in completing your CPD and you will need to reflect on your CPD activities in order to claim for CPD hours. And this involves writing a short reflective statement outlining exactly what you have learned. Reflection is and should be a huge part of your professional development. It embeds our learning and enables us to put it into practice. There are a number of theories which attempt to define this process, the most common being Kolob's learning cycle, as highlighted here. Writing your reflective statement doesn't have to be an arduous task, but it is an opportunity for you to spend some time thinking about what you have learned and how you plan to use it. To add your reflective statement after you've undertaken the CPD activity or learning, simply click the add reflection tick box at the bottom of your CPD activity record and complete the reflection statement box. You can also show, should you wish to, any, any details of specific outcomes from your activity and learning, i.e. resulted in leading on a project or my engagement scores increased by X percent. And at the bottom, you can also link the CPD activity to one of the learning outcomes in the IRC profession map. From your CPD homepage, you can track your progress, view shared activities to add to your CPD plans and upload resources. You can also view your outstanding tasks and which activities are awaiting reflection. You can also view your CPD diary. And there is a handy CPD cycle bar showing how many hours you have completed and how far you have got to go. We have created a series of CPD resources to help you get started and manage your CPD successfully. And these can be found on the ROIC website and include a CPD handbook, which contains frequently asked questions and all the details you need to ensure successful completion of your CPD, a guide to PDPs and reflective writing, expanding on some of the tips I've talked about today to give you some guidance as you approach them. The CPD hours table, a quick download so you can see how many CPD activities CPD hours and activity gives you, and the IOIC profession, profession map launched back in November 2016, giving you an overview of the current skills, knowledge, and behaviors required 
in the landscape of the internal communication profession. It's a really useful tool to help you think about where you are and where you want to go. And you can link your CPD activities to this and demonstrate your progression. I would encourage everyone to read these materials when preparing for your CPD. Thank you for listening today and I hope this webinar has been a useful guide to approaching CPD, why it's important and gives you the quick tips to help get you started. IOIs exist for a number of reasons but one of those is to help you develop and support you throughout your career and enable you to demonstrate your achievements and professional competence. If at any point you would like to talk to us about your CPD, whether that's for some advice or you just want some tips, please do get in touch with us. We are here to help. And thank you very much for listening and good luck with your CPD.